Hello, my name is Mordorim and today I'm going to take a look at Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, a turn-based strategy game similar to XCOM developed by Complex Games. You can buy this game on Steam for 45 bucks, which is a great price point for what this game offers you. Why do I think this? Because you can get a decent amount of playtime out of this game, clocking in at around 30 to 40 hours for one playthrough. The game is also decent fun and I always wanted to do one more mission which led to me sacrificing sleep for a bit more of that good old happy stuff in my brain. I will also keep this one as spoiler free as possible, so let's saw right into the meat of the game. We are first greeted with four possible difficulties and a Grandmaster Iron Man challenge that disables all manual save slots. I played through the ruthless difficulty at first but quickly ran into a hard lock. This game is very hard and punishing without any prior knowledge of what to do. I needed to restart the game, prompting me to start a standard run to familiarize myself with everything first. But this also led to me experiencing the Grey Knight special, carving through hordes of enemies with the might of this chapter. I will be blunt, the gameplay was amazing. You are sent into a mission with up to 4 knights to complete a task. This can range from destroying stuff to destroying stuff. It's always some kind of unholy abomination that needs to be dealt with. You have a massive arsenal of tools, abilities and weapons at your disposal to deal with threats. The environment is also littered with fuel cells, tanks, batteries and statues that can be interacted with to burn, crush, destroy and obliterate the filth standing before you. The audiovisual feedback is just incredible. The sounds are visceral, punchy and convey the brutality of an explosion just perfectly. Throwing grenades is one of my favorite things in this game. There are just so many options that you basically never feel like it's an unwinnable scenario. You are a grey knight, you always complete your task and you never miss. Speaking of never missing, there is no percentage hit chance in this game. Half counter reduces damage, full cover blocks damage, both can be destroyed and ranged weapons still reduce damage the further enemies are from you. That's it. You can plan, you can execute and it always feels like you are in control. Combat is just amazing and the game makes sure you do not get bored by throwing new enemies, maps and objectives at you the further you progress. There is also enough visual variety in here depending on the planet you do your missions on. Now what about progression? You have access to 4 base classes at first and 4 advanced classes a bit later down the line, each with their own skill trees. But this doesn't mean the base classes are useless, they are far from it. I would argue they are even better than most advanced ones. Well the purifier is just busted and insane fun to use, but teleporting around the map to slaughter your prey with an Interceptor or giving him even more action points with your Justica always felt insane, no matter what. And no class is useless. The devs made sure of that. The game is well balanced and there are even achievements for completing missions with just one type of class. What about equipment? Every 60 days you will talk to the Grandmaster. This will enable you to spend 2 requisition each to upgrade your armory access for one of 5 types of rewards. Where do you get requisition? Each mission rewards you with some. Activating a glorious deed will restrict your loadout, party size and give you a special challenge in exchange for even more. This currency can be used at the end of a mission to claim a knight, ranged weapon, melee weapon, armor or tool. Each type of equipment comes in 3 different tiers, with high tiers being more powerful. And you can further upgrade your weapons and armor with special seeds that can also be gathered by completing missions, slaying enemies or interacting with pots in maps. Servitors and grimoires are also obtained from missions. What do you need servitors for? They are used to upgrade your ship. This can range from faster wound recovery, faster overworld travel, faster research time and more experience for your knights. Your ship can also be damaged in overworld combat and through events, in which case you need servitors and additional time to repair the damage. And the last type of progression is research. Research time is influenced by the number of grimoires you are currently holding, increasing by 20% each. Seeds are needed to begin research to unlock stratagems, items and story segments. Stratagems are abilities used to heal your knights, teleport them or give them other advantages. I mostly use them to teleport my marines into objectives and hunt down foes. So there is a lot of customization. Each playthrough might turn out completely different depending on your starting classes, equipment you gain, research you choose and events that occur. Chaos Gate has a lot of replay value. This means you can put far more time into this game than just 40 hours and that's a very good thing. But there is also some critique I want to leave you with. The game's atmosphere is amazing. The music pumped me up and slapped my body through the room and the voice acting made me feel again. But the body and facial animations just sucked. They are insanely bad. Something went wrong here. I guess the voice actors had too much budget. Andy Serkis, 
Best known for his role as Gollum in Lord of the Rings has to have cost a bit too much. But to be fair, it was well worth it. Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters offers a lot of bang for your buck. The gameplay loop is satisfying, the combat feels amazing and progression is great. I'm truly addicted and caught myself playing a bit too much at times. But the game can also be confusing, especially skill trees and all the resources. Making mistakes can and will cost you dearly, especially at higher difficulties. Cut Scene animations are also not the greatest, but the music, sound design and voice acting easily make up for it. Now this is a clear recommendation from me. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure to comment down below. Leave a like and subscribe for more previous reviews and guides. See you next time and bye!